This is the morning devotion for February 22nd. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 138. I will give thanks to you, O God, with my whole heart. Before the gods I will sing your praise. I will bow down toward your holy temple and praise your name. Because of your love and faithfulness, for you have glorified your name and your word above all things. When I called, you answered me. You increased my strength within me. All the kings of the earth will praise you, O Lord, when they have heard the words of your mouth. They will sing of the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, he cares for the lowly. He perceives the haughty from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you keep me safe. You stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand shall save me. The Lord will make good his purpose for me. O Lord, your love endures forever. Do not abandon the work of your hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with deadly anxiety, fled to the Lord. She took off her splendid apparel and put on the garments of distress and mourning. And instead of costly perfumes, she covered her head with ashes and dung, and she utterly humbled her body. Every part that she loved to adorn, she covered with her tangled hair. She prayed to the Lord God of Israel and said, O oh my Lord, you only are our king. Help me, who am alone and have no helper but you, for my danger is in my hand. Ever since I was born, I have heard in the tribe of my family that you, O Lord, took Israel out of all the nations and our ancestors from among all the for their forebears for an everlasting inheritance, and that you did for them all that you promised. And now we have sinned before you, and you have handed us over to our enemies. Remember, O Lord, make yourself known in this time of our affliction, and give me courage, O King of the gods and Master of all dominion. Put eloquent speech in my mouth before the lion, and turn his heart to hate the man who is fighting against us, so that there may be an end of him and those who agree with him. But save us by your hand and help me, who am alone and have no helper but you, O Lord. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. My thought on silence for today begins with an interesting quote from Romano Guardini. He says that the one who cannot keep silence is like one who wishes only to exhale and never to inhale. It's an interesting idea what the values of those two things are, exhaling being typically what we do in the process of speech or making other non-speech noises. So in a way, it is again about creating noise as opposed to the time between noises when we regather our strength. And that, I think, is part of his point. There is a restorative power of silence 
when we are silent, we are able to gather our thoughts again, think what we ought to do or say next. And so to constantly be in a state of noise is never to have that opportunity to regroup and to refresh ourselves. There's something of a natural rhythm, I think, if we think of breathing in and out, in and out, over and over again, something in that natural rhythm also about speech and silence. And if we try to mess with that natural rhythm, with that natural cycle in our lives, uh, we probably end up just as out of breath as if we don't breathe in the correct way. So once again, the power of silence lies in what it can do to restore us, to heal us, and to enable us perhaps to speak a little more intelligently the next time. I ask your prayers as always for the day, the world, and the church. Pray for our neighbors. Pray for those who are members of other denominations, those who are adherents of other religions, that they will have peace in their lives and whatever presence God desires for them that they may perhaps speak also to us about what they see God doing in the world around us. Perhaps there are ways that we and they can witness to the power of God together. Pray for the world, for all those places where people are unable to worship freely, all those places where they must worship in secret, where people are persecuted for their faith, where those of different religions seem unable to live together in peace. And pray for the church, especially for the places where it is persecuted, where people must witness for their faith at the risk to their own lives, their own safety, their own well-being. Pray that the church will have courage always to proclaim the healing love of God, even against the powers of this world. Strengthen us, O Lord, by your grace, that in your might we may overcome all spiritual enemies and with pure hearts serve you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.